Is there a light? No, there's not even a light. Let me throw a bulb in that then as well. Be the god. Um, lads, come here. She just want to start. Listen to this now, right? I'm going to blow her up. This uh, E10 Corolla in. It's not running the best. It's a bit spluttery, and um, we've changed the spark plugs and the plug leads, and um, she's still a bit spluttery. So I've got this new fuel filter, courtesy of David Shields in Enniscorty. I'll get this changed over and see how she goes. Run any better. Lovely, shiny, little brass clip and all that, a little brass uh, washer. So uh, let's have a look at where it is. Ah oh, yes, there she is down there, boy. Right there, lovely. Take this out of the way. Undo the bolts on it and crack on. So as you can see here, 137,000 kilometers was when the oil, air and plugs were done. It's got 178 on it now, I think it says on it. Let's just take the airbox off and get some access down into the nitty gritty. Oh my lord, that is a makeshift job. I wouldn't mind lads, the more you look at it, the more you realise why it wasn't running right. Because it has these little pipes that are meant to be, I am assuming, because they're coming out of the induction, the, in the intake, that's vacuum. <laughs> so there is definitely, oh that looks a nice new clean belt to be fair. Um, Definitely an issue. I'll have to replace them. Jeff, let's get the rest of it off. What is that like? Jesus. Lads, come on, like. Insulating tape on the induction pipe. Now that's that's too cowboy for me. Um, I know things sometimes are a bit tough, like but geez. <laughs> so we've had a slight change of plan. Both the little C's that are on the fuel filter. We've got our good friend WD Falke here now, boy. This is the little bolt that was a little seized. I had to loosen it off camera because she uh, 
was fairly tight and the camera's in a bit of an awkward angle and I'm just trying to more show you as well. It is to be fair. I'll loosen that up anyway when it's finished loosening up all the See there I really need to get the camera out of the way to get the bolts. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take off these two locating nuts or loosen them up anyway. Off this bolt here, and then what we'll do is we'll just finish undoing all the bolts and tough that out and put them all in. Shush if a bit of fuel dripping out now. little brass bushes. Now, I've, I've spilling diesel all over the fucking floor. Yeah lads, so that's what it is. She's not running right because the diesel filter's not right in it. Holy moly! That has to be the problem. So lads, out with the old and in with the new. Isn't that what you say? Let's get to putting this bad boy in. around now that's on you can yeah, let's put on the new the new banjo bolts wash the new banjo banjo bolt washers one on the top, one on the bottom. Which means a few lines. Let me stoop down a bit here. Look at the How are you, lads? So, I, uh, I'll, get on, I'll get on to that in a second. Got the fuel filter in. Got it all back together apart from this intake pipe. This was the one that had and, and still does have <laughs> some of the white tape on it. That was installed from factory. Um, it was ripped. I took the piece off the intake. As you can see, I've glued her on. I'll try to get the other way. Don't know me right some lefts. Yeah. So I ended up gluing it all on, putting some sealer on the inside of it then as well. We can get the torch on it there to see it. Well, there's sealer in it anyway, that's the higher end. You buy it. Ah, look at that. You can see it there now. Yeah, it's a job. Definitely be better than what it was. Um, we'll put that on in a minute. I have got um, my hat back on. I have the battery disconnected because we have the car actually jacked up. I'm going to take a gander. No ramps here, lads. Let's get the exhaust fixed. Guys, the problem is not on the driver's side, but there is definitely a leak in the exhaust. I have got underneath to see it. And you wouldn't believe me if I told you why it's leaking. So I'm going to show you. Have a look. 
Now guys, I just want to emphasize that I don't really like fixing exhausts and I never do an exhaust. I try my hardest to keep away from them. I hate them with a passion. I really and truly don't like exhausts and never go near them. Anytime I ever need exhaust work done, I always get it done by somebody else. But I'm not on about that dangleberry now. See that dangleberry? This dangleberry here. Ah, lads, I'd be proud of that. Like, No joking, you're right. But it's the cut from the angle grinder. You see the cut? Like, finish the weld, then it would have been fine. Don't mind the dangleberry. I'm, I'm going to probably do the same, so let's just try and fix that up as best we can, lads. That's the dangleberry gun. lads we're nearly clean for that to be welded up right i'm after cleaning the dangleberry i'm going to check the far side as well and you see what i'm about to use for the area that you can't get the wire wheels that i preach about lads they are saving everybody look at them maybe see it in work right it's just class <laughs> now she's ready to get welded a perfectly nice slice though isn't it lads they've done a great job cutting that fair it is here we go lads she's all welded up boy the difference between my dangleberries and other dangleberries are i clean mine a bit now i just can't get the grinder in on that i just fucking labbed the weld on it just because i wanted to make sure it was all sealed up it doesn't have to be pretty lads it is what it is at least it's done it's not gonna leak that's for sure that's for fucking sure boy i welded it up twice Oh, have the camera's on it. I welded it up twice to be fair. First time I welded it, I grinded it down and I seen a few little holes, not too many. This is why I hate welding exhaust lights, because I just don't have the facilities for it. You know, I just, I'd love to take it off, but look at them bolts, lads. That's just another kettle of fish. So, it'll do the job. It'll do the job, boy. Guys, I've used the, uh, the 4CR, 4CR 5001 polyurethane adhesive and sealant on this right and you've seen it by the video that i've done you might have seen the inside and all if the, if the light was any better you would have seen it but with the jubilee clip i just you know the way you can push them together or you can push the silicone together and you can pop the ring across it that's what i did like and i put a bit of pressure on it just to test it out to see how good it was it's not a bother on it it's absolutely unbelievable joe that's what i do your shoe is a bit <laughs> <laughs> my, sh <laughs> my shoe is a little bit on the broken side, so I'm going to stick some of this in it. Oh, Jesus, I'm not able for that. Take the shoe off here on your big Egypt. Come on. Alright, now that the shoe's on, now that the shoe's on, let's get this bad boy started up and uh, hear what she sounds like now. Should have had it on record, lads. Should have had it on record. Huh. Car won't start! Peter Jesus, come on. Is there a light? No, there's not even a light. Let me throw a bulb in that then as well, be the god. Um, lads, come here! She doesn't want to start. Listen to this now, right? I'm going to blow her up. She doesn't want to start, and then I record and it starts. Lads, this car is making me a fucking gonna make me a fortune. <laughs> oh shit. 
let's go for a spin and see if she can. She's very spluttery, right? When you put the foot. Don't mind the fanny belt. She's a bit spluttery when you touch the throttle. Yeah, she's a little bit of a back pile. We changed the plugs and we changed the leads, right? Any other idea what it could be there now? Because you can hear that she's struggling a little bit. She's spluttery. Hardly feeling, is it? Any idea, lads? Let us know in the comments below, will you? Greatly appreciate it. Tune in for the next episode, lads. We gotta fix this thing, We gotta fix this thing. Man. We gotta fix this thing. I had the tiniest bit of throttle and she just died.